In the landscape of 1960s television, The Patty Duke Show emerged as a distinctive sitcom that left an indelible mark on the industry. Its enduring qualities have made it a timeless symbol, prompting reflection on what makes certain shows stand the test of time. Whether it's the endearing characters, relatable family dynamics, or the witty humor, this series continues to resonate with audiences, transcending the era of its creation. Now, think back to the first time you encountered The Patty Duke Show. Perhaps it was on a lazy Sunday afternoon or during a family gathering around the television set. What was it about the show that captivated you and drew you into the world of Patty and her identical cousin, Kathy? As we explore the nuances of this classic series, we invite you to share your initial experiences with it. Before we delve into the random facts that add layers to the show's narrative, let's consider the impact it had on viewers. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to The Patty Duke Show? Was it a shared laughter with family, a moment of connection with the characters, or a lesson learned from one of Patty's misadventures? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Now, set the stage for the trivia that enriches our understanding of the show. Did you know that Patty Duke skillfully portrayed both Patty Lane and her identical cousin Kathy, showcasing her versatility as an actress? These intriguing tidbits add depth to the viewing experience, offering a new perspective on the beloved sitcom. As we unravel the layers of The Patty Duke Show, join us in celebrating the nostalgia and cultural impact it continues to exert. Share your thoughts, reminisce about your favorite moments, and connect with fellow enthusiasts who hold this classic series close to their hearts. Your stories contribute to the collective tapestry of television history. The Patty Duke Show, a TV series from the early 60s, showcased subtle contrasts between its titular characters, Patty and Kathy. Beyond the distinct differences highlighted in the theme song, Patty's expressive wide open eyes and lively, fast paced speech set her apart. In contrast, Kathy spoke more quietly with a slight English accent, and her eyes didn't widen like Patty's. The visual contrast extended to their hairstyles, with Patty sporting bangs while Kathy combed her hair back. Despite the show's decent performance in the Nielsen ratings, ABC opted not to renew it for a fourth season. The network's decision was driven by a shift to color production for all its black and white shows. United Artists, the production company, demanded more funds for this transition. In the end, ABC deemed it more cost-effective to develop a new color show instead of investing in the color adaptation of The Patty Duke Show. Noteworthy in the cast were William Shallard and Gene Byron, who had recurring roles in another series, The Many Loves of Dobie Gillis. Both portrayed high school teachers and later college professors. However, their on-screen collaboration was limited to a specific episode titled, I Remember Moo Moo. The Patty Duke Show, with its unique character dynamics and the business decisions shaping its fate, offers a glimpse into the intricacies of television production in the early 60s. The visual and financial considerations behind its conclusion shed light on the era's evolving television landscape. In all 104 episodes of the TV series, Patty Duke, William Shallert, and Gene Byron stood as the consistent pillars of the show's cast. Their enduring presence contributed to the series' stability, reflecting a rare consistency in the dynamic world of television production. Notably, William Shallert later assumed the role of president of the Screen Actors Guild from 1979 to 1981, with Patty Duke succeeding him in the same position from 1985 to 1988. Beyond their on-screen chemistry, these actors' off-screen roles in the industry added another layer to the show's legacy. While the focus often rests on the leading characters, an intriguing behind-the-scenes fact emerges. In numerous scenes featuring Patty and Kathy, Rita Walter played a subtle yet crucial role, portraying the back of either Patty's or Kathy's head as needed. This discreet contribution, along with her occasional appearances as a background character, showcases the meticulous attention to detail in the show's production. The Patty Duke Show, with its enduring ensemble and backstage intricacies, transcended the typical lifespan of a television series. The on-screen consistency of its main actors and their subsequent influential roles in the industry, coupled with Walter's understated but essential role, collectively enriched the narrative of this iconic 1963 TV series. Sidney Sheldon created the premise of the show in order to capture both sides of Patty Duke's personality. Neither Sheldon nor anyone else knew at the time that the reason for her changes in personality was that she had bipolar disorder. The Patty Duke Show, crafted by Sidney Sheldon, aimed to showcase the dual facets of Patty Duke's personality. 
Little did anyone realize, including Sheldon, that these shifts were rooted in her later revealed bipolar disorder. The series, emerging from the mind of Sheldon, brought an unintended depth to the portrayal of its titular character. As the show unfolded, it inadvertently became a nuanced exploration of the complexities within Patty Duke herself. The genuine yet unforeseen reflection of her personal struggles added a layer of authenticity to the character dynamics, making the Patty Duke show a unique and unwittingly insightful piece of television history. Patty Duke's groundbreaking self-titled TV series, born in 1963, holds a unique record in American television. At the age of 16, Patty Duke became the youngest individual to lead a U.S. television series. This milestone remains unchallenged, even as television landscapes evolve. The show, masterminded by Sidney Sheldon, wasn't just a conventional sitcom. It inadvertently became a nuanced exploration of the complexities within Patty Duke herself. Little did anyone know, including Sheldon, that Patty Duke's shifts in personality, beautifully portrayed by the actress herself, were rooted in her later revealed bipolar disorder. Behind the scenes, the consistent pillars of the show Patty Duke, William Shallard, and Jean Byron contributed to its stability. Interestingly, Shallard, beyond his on-screen role, assumed the presidency of the Screen Actors Guild from 1979 to 1981, passing the torch to Patty Duke from 1985 to 1988. Their enduring presence reflects a rare consistency in the dynamic world of television production. Adding a layer to the show's legacy, Rita Walter's discreet contribution deserves recognition. In numerous scenes featuring Patty and Kathy, she played a subtle yet crucial role, portraying the back of either Patty's or Kathy's head as needed. This understated but essential role, coupled with occasional appearances as a background character, showcases the meticulous attention to detail in the show's production. The Patty Duke show not only broke records with its lead actress, but also unintentionally delved into the personal struggles of Patty Duke herself. The unintended depth added a layer of authenticity to the character dynamics, making it a unique and unwittingly insightful piece of television history. And so, Patty Duke's 1963 TV series, with its groundbreaking record, enduring ensemble, and unforeseen authenticity, remains a testament to the intricacies of television production in its era. As we bid adieu to the wondrous journey through the enigmatic realm of that unforgettable television gem from the early 60s, it's time to take a moment, dear friend. The Patty Duke Show, with its timeless charm and endearing characters, has left an indelible mark on the tapestry of classic TV. As you reflect on the misadventures of identical cousins Patty and Kathy, perhaps you find echoes of your own dualities, the yin and yang, that make you uniquely you. The sitcom's laughter-filled corridors were, after all, a mirror reflecting the quirks and joys of the human experience. Did the catchy theme tune, with its upbeat melody and catchy lyrics, ever transport you back to a simpler time? Or was it the dynamic duo of Patty Duke herself, seamlessly embodying two distinct personas that captivated your imagination? Feel free to share those treasured memories or musings that have been stirred by the show. In this digital age, where connectivity thrives, let's weave a collective narrative of shared nostalgia. Engage with fellow fans and let the virtual campfire glow with anecdotes that celebrate the Patty Duke show's enduring legacy. So, here's your cue to share your anecdotes, ponder over the life lessons imparted by the show, and celebrate the magic that transcends generations. Thank you for joining this journey down memory lane, a tribute to a show that made us laugh, ponder, and perhaps even see a bit of ourselves in its characters. Your stories await, as does the beauty of communal reminiscence. Until next time, keep those tales coming. Your time and interest are truly appreciated.